Welcome back guys to episode 18 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. I'm excited as usual. Hope you're uh, doing good. I hope you've had a good week so far. This time around, I'm gonna do uh, something a little bit different. I'm gonna spend uh, my usual 10 minutes in Blender, but first I'm gonna create my custom armature instead of using Rigify. And then I will, uh, let's see now, I'm gonna mirror it, do a symmetry, uh, symmetry on it. And then I'm gonna create a little, like a little uh, mech robot type of thing, uh, hard uh, surface thing. And uh, <laughs> so if you haven't played Battletech or Mech Warrior or something like that, it's gonna be something simple like that. A two-legged walker with some arms, just with some guns on. So I'm gonna have that one uh, modeled and then weight painted or mapped onto the armature. And then I'm actually gonna set it up with uh, inverse kinematics for the legs. And I'm gonna create a little walk cycle. And uh, I'm gonna do this in the 10 minutes. <laughs> well, that's the plan anyway. Let's see how that goes. Anyway, uh, before I start, um, this weekend that just went by, uh, it was Ludum Dare 46, don't know if you participated, I did, it was a lot of fun, and I wasn't really gonna make uh, much of a game because I didn't really have time, I thought, but since I'd done so much uh, speed modeling this year, it was actually really fast to create all the models, so I uh, whipped up uh, a couple of animated characters and a lot of cars. Uh, like I've done in my 10 minute videos before. And then I just created a, a little game called Alien Rescue. So it's a, just a little take on the Frogger uh, genre where you have to, but instead of you uh, clearing the cart, well, you have to do it as well. But the alien has crashed the spaceship or a UFO, and then he's just running across uh, loads of lanes of traffic for some odd reason. You have to basically chase him as a paramedic, and when he gets hit by a car, which he will all the time, you have to be there and uh, defibrillate him more <laughs> to uh, revive with uh, like those uh, clear <laughs> things. Have a look at that game. You can play it in a browser as well, and you can even download the Unity project. It's a horrible code, very messy, but it does the job. Uh, you don't really have time to think about stuff like that when you're doing a game like that. You just have to whip it up as you go. So let's get cracking. Let's get started now. Let's model a little uh, low poly mech and animate it as well. Ready, steady, go. Here we go. Let's go into edit, do auto mirror, and then hide the default cube for now. We'll see you later. <laughs> Shift A, add armature, single bone. Uh, tab in edit mode and now shift space G and move it up a little bit and let's create a torso here so let's rename this one yeah let's name it torso and then move it down a little bit here uh, E to extrude this one and let's create a head bone so head and then here extrude it down and then do a G Oop, G to move no nope, G to move it to the side there and this is gonna be uh, leg one dot L and then extrude this one down. And then this one is gonna be called leg2.l. And then do one more bone here. This is gonna be foot.l. And then let's select these two, shift D, and then make arm up here, straight above. So arm.l, and then hand.l, and then side view. Let's get a little angle going on the arm here. And so we got there, like just a right angle here for the weapon. Let's move the leg back like a traditional mech, type of two-legged mech uh, leg here. That's it, and uh, now let's create some uh, IK bone. Oh, actually, we need to parent this, so control P, keep offset, and then control P to the head here, keep offset. Side view here, and extrude some IK bones, some helper bones here. Uh, this one is gonna be called IK target.l, and then this one is going to be called ikpole.l. We need to do alt p clear parent alt p clear parent. If I didn't do that, g to move this one back. That one's okay where it is. And now let's do. Uh, we need to go into uh, control tab pose mode and go into bone constraints. The lower leg here. Do inverse kinematics and then do armature here. Targets armature and then pole. And uh, it's gonna go probably, yeah, all funky now. So chain length to two. Pole angle is gonna be 90 degrees. And uh, now we have basic IK, but the foot is rotating. So let's uh, disable inheritance here on the relation here, rotation. But we need to copy the uh, bone constraint, copy rotation. And then here's gonna be the armature target uh, IK bone. And then switch these to local space. And now we should have, have the rotation on this that follows, uh, that's it. Good, um, control, uh, tab, and select all the bones here, F3, symmetrize, and um, that'll flip it into uh, uh, both sides, that's good. Now we can uh, go back Alt-H to unhide our cube. 
and uh, let's do a mech here. I'm gonna do a lot of extrusion and <laughs> scaling like usual. Be prepared, I've warned you. So let's move it up here and let's do, uh, are you ready? <laughs> We've got 6.57 on the clock here. Scale X. Uh, we're gonna do simple torso here actually. Uh, so that's it. Shift D to duplicate that one, scale it down. Uh, X, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. Here we go now, you ready? And scale, E to extrude, oh, big one. <laughs> e to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Control R, S to scale on the, uh, all the axes here actually. Uh, move this one up a bit. Control R, let's get uh, this one going, a little bit of a shape here as well. Okay, that's it. Let's do some sort of a cockpit type of thing here. So let's select these. Uh, I to inset this. Do a split glass here. Extrude. And uh, do black for some glass. Let's do that here as well, actually. I to inset this one. Uh, e to extrude it in and make it black there. Glass. Let's make some arms. Shift D, scale, and uh, move it into here. E to extrude. Uh, let's see. L to select these, move it up to there. Okay, let's go. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale, do a shoulder here. Uh, S to scale, E to extrude that one. That's it. And uh, E to extrude this one, scale, move it in a bit. There, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. Did I do it twice? Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, Shift D. Move this one in, scale it, E to extrude, E to extrude that one, E to extrude. <laughs> uh, I to inset, E to extrude, S to scale, S to scale on the Z axis, E to extrude. Let's see, zip fives, okay, that's it. Uh, I to inset this one, E to extrude. I to inset again, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, make some cannons here. Uh, I to inset, E to extrude that one. Control plus, make it black inside the barrel there. Okay, let's do some uh, legs here as well. So let's move this torso out to there maybe. Um, Shift D to duplicate it, scale it, and bring it in. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. Do some chunky legs here. L, rotate them into the armature shape. And uh, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. I can't stop saying this. I know people are fed up with it, but I just can't stop. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, and then rotate here. Let's do some uh, lower legs here. Uh, Shift D to duplicate it. Scale it down. E to extrude, S to scale. You know it. <laughs> uh, scale, rotate. E to extrude, S to scale, rotate. Okay, E to extrude, scale. Okay. Now let's do a foot, shift D again. G, how am I doing? Four minutes. Scale, E to extrude. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. Rotate this one, scale it out. Let's do some chunky feet here as well. E to extrude, rotate, scale, E to, well, one last is extrude here as well, scale it. G, and now, oh, they're way too wide, so scale X down to there, scale X, maybe there. Let's do some uh, geometry here on the foot as well. So I to inset this one and then uh, E to extrude that one. Just do some features there. Let's do some stuff here as well, maybe. And Alt E to extrude along. Let's do something here. They get some more interesting stuff. Just a torso, I to inset this one. E to extrude that one. Let's do some funky stuff here as well. Some jets. <laughs> or something. I to inset, E to extrude, I to inset. How am I doing? Three minutes. Okay, we need to uh, map this one now to the armature. So let's do this. Uh, uh, select that one, shift select that one, control P with empty groups this time, and then hover over here, uh, L, and then go to the property tab here and go foot.l, and then now we do uh, assign, uh, lower leg here, leg two, assign, Upper leg here, assign, torso, assign, head, assign, arm, assign, and hand, assign. Okay, 2.23, now we need to animate. So control tab into uh, here, go into the animation tab, set it to 24 frames, control three, get the side view, alt Z to see the bones. 
Let's start off with uh, shift space G and get uh, our first pose here, auto keying on, uh, bring it down, get this foot, it's going to be the contact pose. So let's move this leg forward to there, move this one back to here. And uh, let's go to frame number four, 154 on the clock here. And now it's going to be the recoil. So let's do uh, plant the foot, move it back a little bit. This foot goes back a little bit more. And uh, now I'll slide it on the axis perfectly there. Now let's do the high pose, oh, no, the crossing first. So uh, let's go to frame seven here and uh, up a little bit. So in the crossing frame here, we're going to have the legs crossing each other, maybe up a little bit to there. And finally, we're going to get the high pose on frame number 10 here. So up a little bit higher again, move this one back to there and then this one forward to get ready to be planted there. Now we should have a basic movement. Yeah. So let's select all the bones to I and insert a keyframe for location rotation. Now on the dope sheet here, this is really good. To, uh, a select everything, control C, go to frame number 13, control shift V to flip that pose. And then uh, just copy the first frame here again and loop that on number 25, control V. And now we should have a walker. That's it, uh, we've got a walking mesh. We've got 50 seconds to go, so let's add some more, uh, just some more detail maybe. Go into the UV editing here again. Uh, let's get uh, some uh, colors here, maybe some black on that one. Get some more features here. I to inset this one, we to extrude it down maybe. Get some features here, I and E to extrude that on scale. Let's get some shoulder stuff going. I to extrude, Alt E, scale. Uh, I to inset this one, move it forward a bit. E to extrude that on scale. And uh, here on the legs as well, maybe here. I to inset, uh, 11 seconds. Item set, E to extrude, and let's get some darker features there, and there. That's it, time's up. <laughs> so that's it, we got our little walker here. Um, that's it, time's up. I have to stop now. We got ourselves a little uh, mech warrior going here, a low poly walking mech, <laughs> with some simple IK and a very simple armature. Happy about this one. That was a lot of fun to make. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one too. It was instead of using Rigify this time, I thought it'd be uh, it's such a simple uh, armature. I don't really want to complicate it too much. So just some very simple bones, just one torso bone and a head bone, some leg bones with inverse kinematics uh, in the, the most basic form that you can use that one probably. And then we've got ourselves a walking uh, mech warrior. I don't know if you played those old uh, battle tech games where they called that was a lot of fun. The Locust, I think. Uh, I didn't really like that one, but I remember the name of that one. <laughs> so the tip this week is going to be how we did the weight painting, or it wasn't really weight painting, it was more assigning vertices to bones. Uh, when I selected this the object, shift selected the armature and did control P. And instead of doing with automatic weights like you normally do when you skin a character so you get that skin movement and the folds of the muscles and things, instead of doing that we did with empty groups. And what that does is, uh, if I go back into edit mode here now, you can see all these vertex groups were created and they have exactly the same name now as the, the bones did themselves. So now uh, what I did was I hovered over a foot here and since uh, I pressed L to select these linked vertices and then I selected the foot here in the vertex groups and then I clicked assign and with a weight set to one here. All the vertices here now are linked to that bone exclusively and it doesn't get affected by anything else. Same thing, I hovered over this one, did L and then I did leg two here and assign. And if I go into ed one here to get the vertices, <laughs> vertices showing, you can select the vertex here and go into the item tab here. Now you can see that the foot L is actually mapped 100 uh, or one 1.0, which is 100% to uh, this uh, foot bone here. And if you select all the vertices here, it's a bit tricky because it looks like uh, it could be assigned, all of them are assigned to the foot, but they aren't. Because if you go up here, you can see that they're not. And that's because it's only showing the most active or the, the active uh, vertex. So even if you delete this one, then you've got a lot of them still mapped here. Uh, but there is a way, if you select all the vertices and you want to clear them, then you can go to vertex here and do vertex groups and remove from all. 
and now you've actually cleared all the vertex information here if you wanted to restart and do the mapping again so l and then you could assign them again as you wish if you want to remove these groups as well you can select uh, just up here vertex vertex groups and remove all groups so that's the tip this week uh, if you want to do some uh, some weight painting equivalent or assigning vertices especially for uh, robot robotic type of objects uh, with uh, hard surfaces maybe it's quicker just to do it this way to assign the vertices to the bone itself so that's it for this week i uh, hope you enjoyed this one and if you did uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and come back next thursday for another 10 minute build until next week have a good one take care and have fun bye for now